Hello everyone, I'm Shayla Paz and with me is my lovely Canadian friend Marley Scott. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing great. I saw you, I took a peek down there and you were taking <laughs> some photos. How's it going down there? You know, it's going great. It's, you know, CMA Fest is such a wonderful way to, to you know, meet new fans and, mm -hmm. and uh, um, I just have a blast saying hi to everybody and, and signing autographs and, and that kind of thing. I mean, fans are what make, make an artist, so yeah. um, I just feel really lucky to have the chance to do what I'm doing. Fantastic, and this is fantastic. Oh, Let me you. tell you, I listened the whole CD, and then I was like, oh, I love this one, let me play it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that, I love that, that's great. So tell me the inspiration behind the new songs. You know, I uh, basically, with this record, um, I actually didn't write a lot of it. I, I um, found a lot of outside songs from other writers, and I just fell in love with them. When I was looking for material for this record, um, there were so many songs from other writers that I just went, wow, like I love what that says, I love the message of that song, or um, the melody of the song just really gets me and, and so um, you know I think that they reflect me as a person and as an artist but um, you know I think there's also something for everybody to take away from the record and um, you know whether it's a song about a heartache or a breakup or something really happy and kind of carefree um, I think there's definitely that something for everybody that can listen to it and go okay that song that's me or I've been there I've done that or um, you know and that's what was really important that the fans can listen to it and, and go okay that's that's me completely. All right. Um, so the the record name is beautiful. Maybe mm -hmm. just like the single. Mm -hmm. Tell me why you picked that as the name for the record. Well, you know, beautiful. Maybe it's it's a song about hopes and dreams and, and that kind of feel good um, feeling. And and so um, I thought that that what a great name for the record because my beautiful maybe is that kind of hope and that dream that um, this is this is going to happen for me and, and being my first record and um, you know never knowing what's going to happen next I thought what what f a fitting title to call it beautiful maybe so that's you know that's where it came from and coming from a beautiful girl why not <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think <laughs> <laughs> So tell me about the music videos. Tell me about them. Uh, was it fun doing music video for the song? Oh yeah, you know, I mean, music videos are always a blast to do because it makes the song come alive, and and I love that. I love, um, you know, putting getting actors involved and, and getting costumes involved, and me getting all dolled up and all the makeup and the hair. Yeah, and, you're already dolled up. Oh, thank you. Well, I can be even more dolled up for a video, and uh, it's it's just it's a great process, and 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 what a great way to to tell a story, and um, so. So, you know, with, with Beautiful Maybe, we shot that actually a year ago. Um, very first time I met you, we had gone and shot the video for that the next day for Beautiful Maybe. And, oh, you should have um, invited me yeah, along. <laughs> yeah, it was the next day. And uh, it was really hot here in, in Nashville. And, uh, you know, we were out on a farm and there was ticks everywhere. I was crawling up my legs. Did and they bite you? I, you know, they didn't bite me. Thank okay. God I had my stylist there and I get kept getting her to like wipe them off and like you know protect me from the ticks and it was a crazy crazy day you know you're sweating it's so warm and you're trying to look all you know dolled mm -hmm. up because you're being a girl you want to be all pretty and <laughs> you're constantly like dabbing sweat from your face it was an, an interesting shoot and then uh, you know train wreck we shot that in December uh, so right around Christmas time and and uh, uh, it was cool. We shot in kind of this warehouse type building, and and um, the the concept was speed dating, and so we had these right. really fun actresses playing uh, these kind of nerd girls, these train wreck girls that mm -hmm. uh, needed a bit of help with um, with their dates, and. Um, I kind of swoop in and I act as their fairy godmother and get All to right. kind of help them with how they dress <laughs> and how they do their hair and and it's just a lot of fun. I mean that one that was a really fun shoot and it was very glamorous and and uh, sparkly. If if there is a song in here that you would like to pick after the next single, what would it be? Ooh, that's a really hard question. You know, they're all they're all like my little babies, and I love them all for a different reason. Um, you know, there's a song in there called "I'm Not Your Baby Anymore," and it's a, it's a ballad, and and uh, it's By very. By the way, that's my favorite. Oh, good! I'm glad. Well, there you go. <laughs> so maybe it should be the next single because you love it. Um, yeah, it's it's one of my favorites, and and the song, you know, as you've heard it, it, it talks about, you know, basically, um, I'm in a situation that the guy I can't be there for him anymore. I can't be his savior. I can't be that person who who kind of rescues him from his mm -hmm. himself that he's he he doesn't want to be with me anymore and and uh, and it's just really really heartbreaking and and I think that anybody who's been through um, a, a, a tough 
breakup um, mm -hmm. can relate to that song and and I think that it's just a really well written song and I love the production on it and you know it was one of the songs we went in the studio and I sang it four times and that's mm -hmm. what you have you know it wasn't it wasn't a whole bunch of takes it wasn't a whole bunch of um, you know days that it took it was just kind of like this raw emotion and and I would love to see that as a single all right we're looking forward to that oh me too <laughs> okay now we're gonna switch gear okay uh, cooking Cooking, yes. Um, have you learned a vegetarian dish yet? You know, I, I love vegetarian <laughs> food, actually. I am a big tofu lover, so I actually have this really good um, tofu recipe. It's a baked tofu. You make it with a little bit of soy sauce and balsamic vinegar and olive oil and garlic. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay, when I, am I coming over to cook that with you? I so love you can this teach idea. Me. Well, I, may, maybe soon, because, you right. know, are you a vegetarian? Yes. Well, there you go. See, we'll, <laughs> we'll cook tofu. I love that idea. I asked her that because she got a little mini series online mm. about cooking, and this girl is so funny, you <laughs> won't believe it. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's called Make It or Bake It, and, and uh, yeah, they're a little webisode series. You've seen them, mm. and, and I definitely am not afraid to act like a fool. They've turned into a bit of a <laughs> costume party. I, I always dress in themes, so the latest one, I, I it's NASCAR themed. I dressed in kind of a, uh, a girly pit crew outfit. It had the, the checkers on it, the checkered flag on it. And and um, at the end of the episode, I had avocado all over my face because I was talking about how it's good for your skin. I'm oh, not afraid to... Oh, I thought that was to, the idea behind it. Yeah, I'm not afraid to, to, you know, get a little dirty with that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of fun and I'd love to have you as a guest. That would be a lot of fun. All right. Uh, so what's next for you? Uh, you know, touring, getting out on the road and, and uh, playing a lot of shows. So this summer I'm busy, um, you know, playing some state fairs, doing some NASCAR car events, um, going up to Canada to do some some big festivals up there and and uh, you know that that kind of stuff it's, it's I'm really looking forward to being on the road you know I, I've been here in Nashville for the last month or so doing some interviews and kind of doing some of the behind the scenes stuff getting ready for CMA Fest rehearsing with the band so um, we're, we're ready to get out there and, and do some shows so it's gonna be a fun summer and you had to go see her because this girl rocked the stage. <laughs> and go get the new album. It's called Marley Scott, Beautiful Mar Maybe, in the stores now. And have fun on the road. Oh, thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. No, I'll see you let's soon, cook. definitely. Let's, let's cook. Let's cook. <laughs> Do not go anywhere. We continue with more right here on the Entertainment Circle Network. We have more for you, so stay there.